She was named by the American Film Institute as one of the greatest stars of classical Hollywood cinema. And as of 2023, is one of the last surviving major stars from that era. Yes, we're talking about Sophia Loren. Sophia Loren is celebrated as one of the best and most beautiful actresses in cinema history. Here are her 10 best movies ranked by Rotten Tomatoes. Number 10. Houseboat, 1958. Loren shares the screen with legendary leading man Cary Grant in Houseboat, a rom com set on the titular houseboat all stationed in Washington, D.C. That's right, it's sensational Sophia Lawrence, and she wants the job. Number 9, Arabesque 1966. Directed by Stanley Dunn and Arabesque is a wild comedy spy thriller in which cryptographer David Pollock, played by Gregory Peck, is tasked with deciphering ancient hieroglyphics in order to solve an international assassination plot. Along his quest, David meets Yasmin Lauren, double crossing Fem Fatal, whose lover is involved in the conspirational plot. As David works to discover her true motives, he's forced to work with Yasmin and ends up falling for her in the process. Number 8, Operation Crossbow 1965 Also known as the Great Spy Mission, Operation Crossbow concerns Allied soldiers in World War II who make a daring attempt to destroy a Nazi rocket research and testing laboratory. In specific, the weapons include the V-1 flying bomb and V-2 rockets. Lauren plays Nora van Ostamgen, the wife of a German operative impersonating an Air Force cadet in order to thwart the Allied mission. Number 7, Yesterday, Today and Tomorrow 1964 Italian maestro Vittorio De Sica's Yesterday, Today and Tomorrow is a romantic comedy triptych that explores the daily lives of three disparate women living in Italy. Learn plays all three women in the film. English, American, Schweizer. Il mio mestiere non mi piace, sa? Number 5, Two Women, 1960. Sophia Lern earned an Academy Award for her leading turn in Two Women, the third straight film on the list directed by Vittorio De Sica. Lauren plays Cicera in the film, a ravishing widow and single mother who leaves her grocery store in Rome behind to raise her 13-year-old daughter, Rosetta, played by Eleonora Brown. Dans le cadre pathétique d'une terre déchirée par la dernière guerre, le bouleversant destin d'une femme, la Chochara, une femme belle, indépendante et farouche, une paysanne courageuse et fière, en but aux laideurs et aux brutalités d'une période. Number 4, El Cid, 1961. Anthony Mann's three-hour historical epic, El Cid, follows the titular Spanish soldier, a.k.a. Rodrigo Diaz de Vivar, played by Charlton Heston, as he makes a dogged stand to protect Spanish Christians from a Moorish attack. Vernon plays El Cid's wife, Jimena, who, out of her refusal to consummate the marriage, leaves to join a convent. Could you let them but my love won't die. 
kill it. You kill it! Tell me you don't love me. Here, amid the pomp and the pageantry of the... Just three or four, but all the known emotions... Number two, the fall of the Roman Empire, 1964. Three years after El Cid, Laurent reunited with director Anthony Mann, Anthony Mann for another epic three-hour historical drama entitled The Fall of the Roman Empire. The story concerns the succession of Roman Emperor Marcus Aurelius, played by Alec Guinness in 180 Anno Domini. I've not learned to live without you. There's no life for either of us apart, Lucilla. Stand up! Rid yourself! Number one, A Special Day, 1977. Ettore Seolas, A Special Day, reunites Sofia Loren with her marriage Italian style co star Marcello Mastoriani to tell a far more heart-wrenching dramatic story. The two stars play neighbors who forge a profound fleeting connection on, the, on one historical date, with Adolf Hitler said to make his first visit to Italy in the 1930s. Most of the countrymen plan to attend the holiday gathering despite her whole family attending. Antonietta, played by Lauren, stays home to do household chores. In the same apartment complex resides Gabriel, played by Masteriani, a disgraced radio journalist who also forgoes the event. When Antonietta's pet bird goes missing, she meets Gabriel for the first time and they enjoy one magical day together. 